You won't hear him approach, but the Grim Ripper's scent will stop you dead in your tracks. Here's your look at the Wowie Toys. This is the Butthead's loud and proud Grim Ripper. Meet the Buttheads, a ghastly group who love to let it rip. Every full moon, the Buttheads compete, cheek to cheek, across a range of disciplines. Stank, score, loudness, and stain power. Who will take home the coveted Super Roll Trophy? Pull their fingers and find out. Much love to viewer Bill, who took the time and sent these my way. I had never even heard of these until he was nice enough to send these. So we're going to go ahead and have a look in the next couple of reviews at these really crazy cool butt heads. Before we do anything, though, we're going to have to first figure out how tall the Grim Ripper is. And the answer to that question is 4.7 inches in height, which works out in centimeters to be 11.9, almost 12 centimeters tall. You get a couple of things with the Grim Ripper, one of which being a trading card, a smelly trading card. Yes, these ones do permeate a rather potent perfume. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up, and I'm assuming there's only one card inside based on how thick these foiled envelopes are. Uh, I'm going to see, I guess if I can grab and open it from the bottom, it seems like it's stuck to itself. Let's just pry it open. Let's just give it the college try there we go and I'm probably gonna need my knife for this gonna cut the top I want to not cut the card obviously inside so right off the bat I'm gonna say the the envelope as simple as it may seem to open up an envelope very very difficult so on the one side kind of kind of creased the top of it on the one side we've got the butt heads loud and proud apparently these do have smells to them and then on the other side is the Grim Ripper. It says scratch and sniff. Now, what specifically am I supposed to be scratching here? I don't see a section for scratching. Unless I scratch it up here. Unless I scratch it. Do I scratch it up there? Do I scratch? I don't know. Do I scratch it up there? I don't know. We're going to scratch it right here nonetheless. Uh, I smell kind of like the smell of broken wind along with perfume let's just try it again i'm a, like i said i'm assuming i'm trying to see if there's holding it up to the light something something is smelling i'm wondering if, if i can even make out like a film on the top of the card where i know where to scratch it scratch 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 Grrr. well the only thing i can really come up with is it has a smell but it's really hard to pinpoint what it is if I was to walk in a room and this was the smell, the first thought I would not be thinking is that somebody broke the wind. Broke the wind. Breaking wind certainly is not something that everybody will fess up to. I think the Grim Ripper would not be worried at all if somebody was to walk in and smell that. Kind of smells like flowers. Maybe it smells like a bit like flowers and farts. That's a <laughs> that's a fantastic aroma to be experiencing so we get ourselves the trading cards to which i will put over here also included as well you get yourself a booklet and the booklet shows you a couple of ways that you can play with the butt head now up at the top it comes with it breaks down the characters in this wave leading back to when i did the unboxing of this from viewer bill i had posed the question if these were the only ones available and it's certainly based on this i'm guessing these are the only ones available a total of four uh, it shows you a timer and also shows you a battle mode i'll kind of get into all of that in a second uh, see here we go each character comes with a unique unique smelling card unique smelly card scratch their name on top of the card to unleash their unique fart smell well again i think Based on that, based on scratching the name, yeah, it kind of smells like a toot mixed with some flowers. There you go. A toot. So we have the little instruction guide. We'll talk about that in a second as well. And here we have the Grim Ripper, the first of many. The crowd, the mob, yells out, Aha! We're going to be getting ourselves some 
uh, some of the butthead reviews coming up. So I figured I'd start with the Grim Ripper, a personal favorite of mine of the four that were sent my way. As you can see, it is Death himself uh, as a behind. And far be it for him to get behind on his daily duties of ushering death to those that are, of course, deserving of it. Uh, it's really neat looking rendition of death as being a big giant behind. As you can see, there is Rip up at the top there. Rest in peace or let it rip. Let's see what they did there. He is sporting his, sci his scythe done here in blue, as you can see on both sides. Very unfortunate visible holes there on the back of the butt head, but I guess there has to be some way for this is all assembled together. There's obviously electronic components going to be doing their magic, tooting magic, deep inside the cavity there of this figure. You got your speaker system and you got your batteries. Rest assured, the batteries do work. I would hate to want to deliver the smells and the sounds and find out later that there's no working batteries. But all these seem to be working A-OK, -okay, ready to let them rip. Now again, there's a couple of different ways that you can rip them. Primarily, if you pull their finger, which is not even so much pulling their finger as it is bringing their arm down, it'll summon through one of many different sound effects. <laughs> There's always something about the sound of a fart that makes people giggle. And as you can hear, there are a few, a few sound effects to cycle through. That's one of my personal favorites. But it doesn't stop there. Oh no, no it doesn't. Referencing back to the manual that came included with the butt heads, there's a couple of different cycled uh, steps that you can also go through and uh, find a different way to play with these. Primarily, if you put your hand on the bum, like so, and you pull the hand up rather than down, you give it a five second head start. That would be prime time for you to vacate this and put your butt head concealed behind something, a loaf of bread perhaps, or a box of cereal, or behind somebody's lamp. When you time it, every time you raise the hand, you add another five seconds to the countdown. I'm gonna count this down by 10 seconds. I'm gonna bring the lever up and you'll hear a distinct sound, quite different actually from the sound we heard before. There's one, that's five seconds. Doing it again, that's 10 seconds. And then you just leave it and run like you know what. And eventually, 10 seconds later, or 15 seconds later, or 20 seconds later, you get the delivery of the sound. And hopefully you're far from it that you can then walk into the room and blame whoever is currently in the room Whoever not necessarily smelling it was the one that was delting it, but you could certainly blame the sound effect on anyone who's currently in the room. So that's a fun little thing to it. The other thing also is based on the manual, let me just open this up once again, there is a battle mode, because these guys always have to have battle modes, not specifically the butt head, but Generally, when you get these collectible things, there's always a battle mode. Now here, you're actually gonna take the character and you're gonna shake it. You're gonna shake the character up and down, and then that will cycle through three different sound effects. Atomic fire, rotten wet, and earthquakers. Now, as you are playing against somebody else, you're gonna be shaking up your corresponding butt, uh, butt head, and then when you put them next to one another, they're gonna cycle their sound effects. And you can see according to this, Atomic Fire beats Earthquake, Earthquake beats Rotten Wet, and Rotten Wet beats Atomic Fire. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna grab, in this case, the Grim Ripper, and you're gonna shake it. And you're gonna shake it for two seconds. Outrageous. Now that's two seconds. I technically shook it a little more than that. So we shake it again. See if I actually, there we go. Shake it a little longer than that. Oof, ooh, 
somebody's going to have to change those ones. Uh, as you can see, though, uh, the atomic fire. Now, this was atomic fire, so this would have beaten earthquakes. But, but if your friend's butt head had perhaps gotten rotten wet, not hopefully literally, the rotten wet would beat out the atomic fire. So those are fun. Like I said, it adds a little bit more to it. Certainly adds a little bit more to the playability of these. Right out the bat, the appealing charm to these is the fact that somewhere on these figures, their faces, well, obviously on their faces, not somewhere on the figures, but on their faces, they're behinds. And that right off the bat is already funny in my books. But then to add the appeal of pulling their finger, or in this case, putting their figure down, <laughs> you get, of course, the childish charm of having them let it rip. Again, a big thank you to viewer Bill, who was nice enough to send not just the Grim Ripper, but it seems all the rest of the buttheads loud and proud to my doorstep. These are not quite a stinky bunch, but certainly where they make up for it is the sound effects that they emit from their behinds, or rather behind their behinds, featured or located on the back of their heads. There's enough playability to them, but I think even really without shaking them up and battling one another, and without the timed countdown, even just the idea of pulling their finger and the fact that they look like giant behinds wearing clothes is enough for me. I don't really ask for much in life, and I think that's more than enough for me. These are, as far as I know, available right now. If you've seen these popping up anywhere in stores, let me know. I don't even know where Bill managed to find these. Hopefully he'll let me know down below in the comments section. But today, nonetheless, we were having a look, a slight departure, perhaps from some of the other stuff that we look at on this channel. This was the Wowie Toys, this was the Buttheads, and this was the Grim Ripper. So fun and uh, very childish, but childish in a good way. Hey now, ho now, if you guys haven't done so already, if you're new to this channel and think, I really dig this guy's stuff, especially now that he's looking at giant butt faces. You're welcome, by the way, for that. Uh, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. We're gonna have a look at some more butt heads and upcoming reviews. Yay, says the mob. Yay, says this reviewer. So stay tuned for those, my friends, and even the mob. And I'll see you guys next time.